So this is your last call for the stuff that we're going to be going through 801, Zer, and Eververse. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's just get right into it. So the first one, Envious Touch. This is a really good shader if you're going for like a really cool texture on armor. The only negative is the fact that you'll get this like linen white texture and the color white, which is unfortunate because uh, as you guys can see, everything is dark as hell. And then when you get the, the white, it's just kind of it kind of throws it off, in my opinion. We have new Pacifica Sync Worn. This shader has never been sold. You should definitely pick it up, especially if you like the worn look, because the other one, the one that doesn't say worn is just completely like just the whole thing is color white or not white, but blue. And this one, you can see like discoloration around the edges of the armor, which is really cool. And then War Cult Camo, which I'm not the biggest fan of this shader uh, because of the orange. I'm just not a fan of orange, orange, yellow, anything like that. Just not the biggest fan of. But it is a really good blue if you're going for a complete plate armor, because as you guys can see from the plate and some of the cloth at the bottom, it looks really cool. That's pretty much it for the shaders. As for the armor sets, we're going to be looking at the World Complex AA1 for the Hunters and the Devastation Complex for the Titans. Warlocks, I don't know what yours is called, because quite frankly, you guys look like bums, and that's the, the armor set that comes to mind. Unfortunately, I just think the, the Warlocks don't have really good sets or pieces from that set. And the Hunters and Titans, I think everything but the class item is really good. So you guys should definitely pick it up. As for Zur, he's in the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling the Future War Cult set. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Personally, not the biggest fan of it just because he so sells it so many times, which is why I didn't do a Zur video because I was like, I'm just going to do the last call video because I feel like this is not Zur worthy. Even the weapons I'm like, whatever is on and the exotics as well. So going forward if there's just a week that he's selling something that i don't think is really valid enough to make a video for again future war call i don't think is a good armor set for that then i'm just gonna make it in the last call video but don't worry the other sets that i know people really want to get i will still make make videos for like specifically the lightkin stuff i know people still want that so i'll make videos for that one but speaking of which here are the armor sets um yeah i think if you want just a better set and if you guys want to keep looking at it, just pause the video or go back because we're going to stop looking at it right now. Um, if you guys want to get a better set, just go to Nessus and speak to uh, Failsafe. She'll she'll have all of the, that armor set, but just without the future or, or cult insignia. I think it's just much better, uh, which is why I like that set a lot more. Just be aware that the what is it? The uh, chest piece for the Titans, the class item for the Hunters and the chest piece and the chest piece for the warlocks uh have pieces of it that don't change color that do, that does not change for the future war cult set or the nessus set it's just gonna have that color which is really unfortunate for the weapons fire fright with aerosol and daju i'm gonna skip this peace of mind with overflow and focus fear which is pretty good for pve we have seven seraphs si2 with threat detector and surrounded which is a really good combination i just don't like surrounded as a perk Hollow Words, Quick Draw and Vorpal Weapon, Deafening Whisper with Surplus and Threat Detector, Re Recurrent Impact with Genesis and Tap to Target, and Quick Fang with Tireless Blade and On Guard. So I am really curious to see if you can still get Red Borders for, it would be Recurrent Impact and these two right here, because I don't think, um, yeah, these weren't here when, when we started crafting started crafting yeah these these weren't here these are like old old uh with this one as well kind of uh so i would like to know if you bought one of these would it have this right here in, let me see what's it called would it have the deep harm deep sight harmonizer um slot there because if so you could probably just grab these two right here i would probably tell you to skip this one it's not that great but these two uh, if I'm being quite honest, I would just say peace of mind. The firefight's not that great. It's precision frame, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, peace of mind, though, fucking great in PvP. Pretty good for PvE as well. So I would probably just say pick this one up and see if it does the deep harm, deep sight harmonizer. I can't. Well, I could pick it up, but it doesn't have one for me because I already have this crafted. So that's why I'm asking that question. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. Uh, for the exotic weapons, we have Hawk Moon with moving target. We have Dead Man's Tail with Outlaw oh, and Sweet Business with uh, nothing because it's literally just Sweet Business. For the exotics, uh, Aeon Swift with 
pretty decent rolls, especially if you master work this, you'll get a two on discipline just naturally, which is good. And then you can pick another thing to have two on, which is pretty cool. I think most hunters would just probably go for recovery at this point, uh, which would be pretty good because that'd be what, 14 mobility, uh, 13 resilience and 23 recovery, 21 discipline, 12 intellect. So you get you get ones in a lot of things that you care about. Uh, Lion Ramparts, if you're looking to not do jumping puzzles, this one's really good too, because it's obviously Titans would would uh, master or they would masterwork this, but I would also put a plus 10 on resilience. So that'd be a 20, 20, 22, 22, which is nasty. That's man, if mm, this is pretty good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up and then Vesper Radius with some pretty terrible rolls. I already picked my exotic, it was not. I mean, it was good. It was, it was an assassin's cow one, but I didn't like the the role that I got because I I have better roles. So that's pretty much it for Zer. Um, definitely pick some of these up, especially peace of mind. I think this is really good. But the other one I would probably tell you to get would probably be. That's it actually. Um, I was more still talking about like sweet business is really good right now. Um, Lion Ramparts is really good. Like the the role is really good. Even Aeon Swift is really good. But for Eververse, let's look. Let's actually look at what Eververse is selling. All right, so Lucid, which is such a cool shader. I just don't like, like, I like and I don't like the plate armor color, if that makes any sense. But it looks cool. It looks like it reminds me of uh, a pa uh, not patriarch. Uh, it reminds me of. Oh my god. Um, it's it's a character from uh, from um from 40k Immortarion. It reminds me of Mortarion, like the color scheme. I don't know why. We have Copper Brand with, yeah, it's just yellow and orange. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. The Copper is fine. I think the Copper would have been fine if it was just another color for this. So yeah, that's unfortunate. We have a uh, Subjugator Entrance, Vestian Hawk, which is, it's so cool. We can do this with ships too, which is such a dub. And then Brilliant Idea. Yeah, I don't care about for the bottom stuff. We have Kronos Exegus, which is it's fine. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. It just doesn't look good to me. We have Death Wish for uh, Shards of Galanor, which look really cool. Definitely pick this up because uh, I haven't seen them. I haven't seen Eververse sell this ever. And the same thing goes for the other exotics, the exotic ornaments, which will just go through here because I'll forget. I'll I'll say I'll put it up, but I'll forget because I know myself. So for the other one, it's going to be the Kaiden Ramparts specifically. It's going to be the uh, Scorned Fortress. This is the other one that she is selling. I already had this, thank God, but this is the other one she's selling. Yeah, this is the other one she's selling. Mm, is it? I, I don't know off the top of my head because I already had this when I saw it. Mm, let's just find out real quick. So I was right. It is Scorn Fortress. So Titans, that's a really good one because I don't think she has sold that ever. So definitely pick it up for Warlocks. I know which one it is because I'm, I was really excited for it. It is this one right here. Chimera Sting for the Karate Grips. These are really cool, especially if you want to go for like a really Gucci look, but also if you want to go for like a queen inspired look, because obviously you, you see the queen insignia right there. So definitely pick this one up. She also does have another one that's like very like um elegant it is this one but i don't know when she'll sell this one so definitely pick some of those up especially titans and hunters that those two i don't think i've ever been sold to be fair the warlock one hasn't been sold either but like i think the other two are just a lot better personally we have the paul bear ship which i'm not the biggest fan of we have the externalization which is so cool but not enough to buy it for Bright Dust, specifically for 2500 Torturous Dance, which whatever. And then Turn the Tables, which I don't care. For the shaders, we have Raven Silk, which is a really good shader if you want to go for like an old armor look. Because as you guys can see from the armor, it looks very like old. And especially since it has like a texture to it as well. So definitely a cool shader for that. We have Tide Smoke, which is such a good shader, especially if you want to go for like an under under the sea look because it has uh, some textures 
in this i think it's right here where it looks like for me there's some textures that look like barnacles are growing but this it looks like a like just an old weathered look but yeah actually you can see it right here there's some textures in there which is really cool we have trinity which is i remember why i don't like this shader it's because it has this yellow that's why i don't like this shader because i usually do like this shader because it's a really cool silver and like light green but that yellow i'm not the biggest fan of and then smashing success which is literally just a joker shader so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I had to remake this video because the audio on the first one was really, really bad. But let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys coming to this point. Remember, just pick some of these things up because we might never know if she sells them again. So again, be safe. I will see you guys later.